What's up, everybody? Welcome back on into the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out the demo for Blacksmith Legends. Now, this game is a blacksmithing RPG where you start out as a humble blacksmith, you make weapons for various factions, you help build up the economy of your city, you branch out into other trade skills and whatnot. This is a completely blind play. I have no idea what I'm doing. Even if it's not completely blind, I usually am a little bit slower on the draw than everybody else, but that's okay. There's room for that. I kind of pride myself on being the average gamer. Not being, you know, because if you didn't have the average gamer in like every PvP game, like who would all the uber elite sweaties, you know, mash out on? Like they wouldn't have fun anymore because they wouldn't have anybody to choke out. That's how I prefer to think about it. Like you need guys like me to be average at stuff. But we're going to dive on in today. We're going to take a look at the game. And if after watching this, you want to get the game for yourself, I'll have a link for you down below next to my Discord, my Twitter, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, let's dive on in. We've got about 25, 30 minutes to spend with the game, and let's see how it goes. So we've got our character. We've got to name him. All right, we'll be Splattercat the Blacksmith. Sounds good. And it looks like we've got morale right here, so it's our overall character mood, which affects our working speed and our crafting ability. Okay, so we want to keep it above 100%. That's a very important thing. We've got our work speed, how fast we get recipes done. If it deteriorates... Oh, it deteriorates when morale is low. Okay, and then we've got our crafting quality. Gotcha, and all these seem to link kind of back to our morale. As our personality trait, we've got Founder, which means that our morale is up. We can pick what flag we want to rock with. Oh, I like the flags. Those are really, really colorful. I dig those. I'm going with the purple one over here, dude, with like the Tree of Gondor in it. That's what's up. That's what I want right there. And then we can pick what our character looks like, and it looks like they've got, I don't know, there's like three or four. Uh, difficulty is apparently set to easy, and it doesn't look like I can adjust that inside of the demo. So... Unfortunately, I can't pop that back up to normal or whatever, but for right now, I assume that that's probably okay. Let's start the game on off. Episode 1, The Prologue. In Murstone. 56 people live here. Okay, that's a pretty small town. I'll be honest with you, like, I grew up in the Bay Area of California, and, like, the city that I grew up in only had, like, 80,000 people, and people act like, act, my entire life, people act like my hometown is, like, the biggest backwater ever. But I guess when you plop, like, an 80,000-person city next to a bunch of half a million, over one million cities, I guess it's just by comparison or whatever. I don't know, dude. Uh, Hereby I declare to move to thy village under the privileges. We have two workshop spaces, 56 people here. I will sign the offer. Why not, dude? Nothing bad ever happens when you sign paperwork without reading it. Dearest child, on the verge of my end, I can't fulfill my duties as thy blacksmith anymore. If only I had more time to teach you. From mine and mother's heart we leave you thou workshop as thy thing left, as the only thing left. Oh, okay. If this is your dream, shall not be, please take care and try to survive. All right, so hey, Lucy is my name, and I'll be your guide. Let's start with some translational stuff going on right there. I'm gonna kind of like, if it feels like I'm reading slowly, it's because I'm mentally translating it to just superimpose it for you. Make five hammers so that we level up. All right, dude, let's make some hammers out here. So we've got the hammer recipe. It wants me to make five of them. Begin the hammerizing. Cling, cling, cling. I wonder if people got mad, like, back in the day, if the blacksmith was working before or, like, after certain hours. Because it seems like a noisy profession. Like, it feels like you're going to make a lot of noise while you're blacksmithinating. You know? Like, interrupting people's sleep. Like, waking up the sheeps or something. I don't know, dude. Maybe people just got up earlier back then and just didn't care. I guess they were limited by sunlight, too. Not a lot of candles and stuff to go around. One more hammer! The Hammer of Destiny. All right, so the hammers are done. We've got a recipe for a wagon wheel. That's actually a fairly important thing. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and buy the recipe. Let's take a look at our UI here. Oh, we only have like five, I don't even know what these are, five ducats, whatever they are. Well met, neighbor. My name is Rupert, and I wanted to ask you a favor. I need some tools to finish my fence down south. If you help me, I'll spread the word about your skills. What do you say? So he wants four hammers and three wheels. It looks like we'll get some tongs. It looks like we'll get some fame, and we'll get a little bit of gold, too. All right, so we have our first order. Uh, this favor has asked us to make three hammers and four wheels. Since we already made the hammer, just make the wheels. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Okay, well, let's make the wheels, then. Wheel and Nate and making a hammer. Can I, like, rotate the camera or anything? I do like that the background's kind of active. There's, like, people around going about their days. 
I wonder if I have to go out and chop my own wood or if there's going to be kind of a trading component to the game where I've actually got to, like, source all the stuff that, like, I'm crafting with. Dude, we're making wagon wheels much faster than I feel like wagon wheels are made. I feel like the, the process of, like, bending wood and getting it fitted to struts in a way that's satisfying is probably really, really difficult. My old man's a carpenter, and, like, he, like, kind of fell out of it because he was a roofer for most of his career, like a general contractor. And he's gotten back to carpentry now that he's, like, in his retirement phase. And he's able to hit it, like, full force. And over the last three or four years, it's been crazy to watch how good, like, his carpentry has gotten. And it takes a lot of trial and error. He also had to learn a ton of trigonometry, actually. Uh, oink! I'm Greg, your neighbor with the cute pigs. I'm fixing my cart and some other stuff. Any chance you want to make a few items for me? I'll reward you and tell everybody how great you are, I swear. Snort. Mm, that little pinky in the brain style nof, after the sentence kind of concerns me, bro. I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, we'll get a horseshoe recipe. Okay. Shoeing horses is pretty important. Especially if they're, like, in places you don't want them to be. You know, you get home, the horse is in the kitchen, you're like, shoo, get out of here! Like, you gotta have it available. Now, Greg wants us to craft more items. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so let's open up our production here. And... So I guess it wants me to... No, I don't want to craft that. Apparently it wants me to swap this out. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, and we gotta make the tongs. So there we go, we gotta learn the recipe, so that's gonna eat up like half of our profits from the last thing that we crafted, but we need two tongs, we already have hammers left over, so that's fine. It looks like it's nighttime right now. Okay. I'll let it run for a second so that we can look at the inventory. So it looks like we've got adamantium, looks like we start out with just bug standard iron, like pig iron. We've got wood over here, we've got coal, we can make steel eventually, silver. Okay, there's gold. Alright, so apparently we're going to move into, like, jewelry or something at some point. As the night comes, your character needs to sleep and comes back fresh in the morning. Okay, we can skip it then. Yeah, that's fine. Let's skip till morning. Let's go to the next day. I've got two tongs set up, and I need a couple of wagon wheels set up. So I'll go ahead and get those started. Let's see if our man moves over here. There he is. Okay, so we're kind of like crafting and doing our thing right now. I wonder if I get to wander around the village and like visit other places. Because if like this is the tot- this can't be the totality of the game, just sitting here like crafting things. Like it's gotta- there's gotta be other stuff, dude. We gotta be able to like go to the tavern and like meet contacts and like have new friends and be like, Hey, I'm the shirtless blacksmith. I've got an aversion to wearing shirts. They make my nipples chafe while I hammer. It's actually a pretty frequent problem, dude. I have to wear really, really soft shirts because I'm a distance runner. I run like three miles like every day, every other day. And bro, that's a real problem. You start getting that chesty chafing, dude. It's not a fun feel. You got to get those extra special like soft running shirts, dude. Oi, that old braggart. He owes me a pair of horseshoes, but he never made them. Be a good chap. Make Rupert here some shiny horseshoes with pliers and I'll tell everybody how big of a heart you have. Okay. I guess I'll make some horseshoes then. Let's get back on in here. I need to take the wagon wheel off for this order, and we will put the horseshoe in. Sooner or later, I'm going to run out of materials, and that's where I think this is going to open up. So let's get three of these bad boys going. It's three in the afternoon right now, now four in the afternoon. Uh, I appear to have run out of iron, so we're going to have to sort that out. It looks like we got other windows down here. Oh, we've got a sales menu. Gotcha. Okay, so there's no wholesale yet. But locally, it looks like... Do they have, like, materials or anything around here? It looks like there's a demand for all of this stuff. If we go to the marketplace... Ah, that's where it's at. Okay. So let's buy, like... You know, this is costing me money, but I think it'll be okay. We'll just buy a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And it looks like it's nighttime again, so I guess I'll just wait till morning. Do -da, do da do catching a nap after some hard day's labor. All right, so after a hard day's man sweat work, we've got to make some more stuff. Let me pause the game real fast. What was that job that we had? I think it was like horseshoes and tongs, but it went away. There it is. We need another tong, and then we need four of the shoes of the horse. Let's break out some horsey jays. Let's get them all nice and covered. You know, get those get those horse force ones. I don't know, dude. Who would be the horse that would sell? So, like, Michael Jordan is, like, the number one purveyor of shoes, even though he hasn't, like, done any basketball or anything in, like, a gazillion years. My question is, like, with horses, who would be the one that's selling, like, you know, designer horseshoes? It's got to be, like, Secretariat or something, right? Who's the most badass racehorse to ever exist? I, I'm not, you know, I don't know anything about horse racing. There's a horse track right near my house. 
but like I've never been and I've never gone to a horse race so honestly I don't know who the banging like up and comer is to be out here selling these horseshoes all right so we got the quest done that little weasel rupee's a little bit upset all right we're building a trench here in the village and we're gonna need some tools I'll show you how to make a good spade and give you some gold so little rupee can whine about it agreed okay sounds good man Let's go for it. What is this over here? So we've got a world map. So mines can be accessed by going to the arrow on the right. Other ones are added upon discovery by your heroes. Mining starts when you do the plus icon. Click it as many times as needed for quantity. Oh, I didn't even need to buy it, dude. Oh, bro. Okay, so there's a lumber camp and there's an iron mine. All right, yeah, let's go to the iron mine. Oh, it wants me to do 10 per hour. All right, let's do 10 per hour. Apparently, I earn... Well, it's red, so I don't know if I earn wages or not. All right, now that we have enough iron waiting at the mine stock, we can press stop so that we won't drain our funds. Okay, sounds like a plan. And then from this moment on, we can go back to the village as the iron will be transported automatically. Okay, so the iron is actively in my inventory now. So we've got the hammers and the spades. So let's go ahead and... We'll, nope, don't do that. We'll take that out. So we've got hammers, and we've got spades. Uh, that's the last of my money, so unfortunately, if we run out of stuff here, it's going to be a bad time. My thought was, like, what I was thinking was that, like, we do the... Oh, we got another slot. That's pretty cool. Okay. I think we're going to be okay here. Like, I think we're going to be all right. It looks like I'm hammering pretty quickly. Oh, I think it's because I got better at making the hammers, dude, because he's making the spades much slower. So, yeah, it must be because, like, I've mastered the recipe or something like that. Like, I've gotten good at it. It looks like it increases maybe productivity in this area. I don't know. You've got little plus signs down there, but I don't know what they do. Is there a way for me to, like, pause the game? Let's take a look at some tabs here. Oh, so the town, it grows. Okay. So, like, as you supply tools to various people around town, you upgrade the various attributes of the town, thus bringing in more business and possibly growing the place. Gotcha. Sounds good. All right, get back to work there, pal. We got a lot of stuff to get done. It's 11 in the morning. It's a big, productive day in front of us. The day is still full of possibilities. All right, so we got the quest done. It means we got a little bit more gold, which I'm okay with. Hey, my name is Anora, Western Region Stables Overseer. I'm in the need of horseshoes for my horses that had to be done like yesterday. My former blacksmith is a tankard. Help me, and I'll speak highly of you at the council. Okay. All right. Sound like a plan to me. Throw some horseshoes in here. How fast can I mash out horseshoes? Looks like we need eight of them, and I already have the supplies for it, so that's good. What does this say? Your character tab is going to give you basic information about your worker. Crafting quality is a very important factor. Okay. All right. And then weekly plans offer a variety of trainings and temporary grant bonus stats at the price of gold per week. Gotcha. Okay. All right, wants me to put on training right here. That's like all of my money's gone, though. What did it do for me? My working speed and quality is up by a bunch because I trained. Okay. I feel it. I feel it. We've only gotten one horseshoe done. I don't want to upgrade my workshop, really. I just want to, like, check the progress of what I'm doing right now. Back in the workshop on the next day. Okay, we're a little bit late for work right now. We don't show up till, like, 7. Uh, we've got two more of these, and we'll be ready to rock. So I guess that's really, we've got to have the quality up on these too. So our crafting quality needed to be 75%, which explains why the first few horseshoes definitely did not count towards our quest. All right, that's fine. That's cool. I do like how these little guys go out and like feed the pigs and they walk around behind the shop and stuff. I like, well, we got paid a bunch of money for that one. Okay, I think we're going to have to go back out to the mine though. I don't think we have a choice. Great job so far. So let's try to earn our investments back and get some sales going on. Okay, so they just want me to, like, craft things and, and sell things for a little bit. Save up three gold. So we can come on over to the sales tab here. It looks like we can sell these for a decent amount. Yeah, throw them on out there. I mean, if anybody wants to have some horseshoes, go for it. Oh, we haggle, too. That's kind of interesting. We fold our, sold our first item on the local market. Now we got to sell more and more. I do wish that the default time speed was a little bit slower. I feel like the days, like, fly by right now. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, it put me back on. Okay. Let's take a look at the world map. Like, I'm willing to bet that I'm getting low on some of this stuff. 
Yeah, let's get like 10 iron, right? And then we'll get like 10 wood from the lumber camp. And we'll just kind of see how the stock rolls. Okay, uh, pretty aggressively. We are negative on money right now. You're low on gold. Every Monday you have to pay three gold to the king as well. Okay. If you have heroes or additional staff, gold coins are detected. So apparently we're going to have hirelings and stuff later on. So we need to make some sales this weekend. Uh, the time is still running, even though I was in that menu right there. Let's take a look at the menu. So things that are in demand. People want horseshoes. They want horseshoes very, very badly, and they want pickaxes. Uh, I think horseshoes are pretty much the only thing that I can produce that's in demand right now. So I say we give that a go, and we try to make some money out here. Oh, did I not get that iron? Where's that iron at? Hold on. What happened there? Does it not get... Oh, it gets delivered the next day. There it is. So it's got like a couple hour delay before it shows up. All right, I got kind of nervous for a second. I was like, listen, 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 listen. I got to make some money out here, dude. Uh, where is my, where is my stuff of Rooney's at? I paid good money for that product, and now I need it to come back to me. Uh, let's just focus on making horseshoes for right now. We'll try to sell all this stuff tomorrow. But for today, let's mash out every single horseshoe that we possibly can. Because they're in demand right now, so... Okay, we're moving on up. Uh, I do think that we're going to have to throw this stuff on the market. I don't think we have much of an option. So let's go ahead and throw up all of the horseshoes. Apparently, we got some really high quality ones inside of there. They won't sell till 7 a.m., but that's life. Let's see if we can watch some gold flow on in because, like, I am broke as a joke right now. Hopefully, we get a decent amount of money from that so that we can hire people from the iron mine to bring stuff back over. My initial thought was that, like, I was the one going to work in the mine, so I was also getting paid for that. Made a little bit of money. We didn't do too bad. I'll take it. Hey, I see you're a quick learner. It's time for you to show people your quality. Let's start selling our products in the village. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, I think I already sold most of my things, but... Throw up a few more of these, and that should take us up above six gold. we got to pay our taxes tomorrow, so that's going to be half of it gone. So we want to be mindful about the way that we work that. Uh, apparently there is a... D oh, I already fulfilled the demand for horseshoes, so there's no more demand for it. Okay, so there's a silver demand for hammers, and there's a silver demand for spades. So, I think the best idea for right now... Let's restock on iron. I'm going to let that run for a little bit. Okay. Lumber, we've got 13 of. So I'm going to let that tick up a little bit too. And we'll just let it go for right now. Like, I don't want to overspend and get all crazy out here. Because I need that money from tomorrow. But, like... So they already sent that. We've got one wood over here. Let's bump that up a little bit. Oh, you can see the little carts moving to deliver your stuff. Nice, Brody. Okay, so you've got deliveries that are coming on in. Gotcha. Okay, let's stop that right where it's at. And it looks like that's coming from the lumber camp. We could use a little bit more iron, I think. But it's almost nighttime, so I don't think we're going to be able to do a whole lot more with today. Uh, they said that they wanted hammers. It looks like we can spend money to get, like, tools and things that get added on in here to make our crafting quality better, too. Do I have anything to sell? I have nothing to sell. I think we should make a couple hammers. That's what I think. Although it looks like the spades are a little bit more advantageous to the city. I don't know. There's a demand on them, so we'll do our best here. Oh, we got a fourth crafting slot, too. Nice. Oh, we can make pickaxes. Okay, I can't afford it for right now until I make a little bit more money, but payday is coming. So, we did errands. It's giving us total right here. The iron mine. We spent a lot of money trying to get stuff. And then, royal decree. Dear citizen, 
Your craftsmanship is now officially approved. You are now obliged to pay 20 or 2 gold coins every week. Failing to do so will result in disciplinary actions. Man! The medieval IRS trying to creep through my finances right now and audit your boy? I don't like that. I don't like that none. When do I pay my taxes? Like right first thing in the morning? I don't know if my money actually went down. I'm not super sure. I don't know, but I think we need some iron, so... Let's just get some iron coming on in. Because I definitely think I'm going to need more. We'll just kind of like leave this ticking for right now, and I'll just keep an eye on my money supply. So we got those done. Let's get a few hammers so that we don't saturate the market. Not too bad. Decent money for those. I'll take it. Like, anything that brings in income... All fine by me. I'm trying to get, like, paid out here. Okay, so with the little bit of iron we have left, let me check the demands real fast. Looks like they still want the same things. I feel like the shovels sold a little bit better. So let's spend the last of our iron just on, like, shovels. We should have just, like, a little trickle of iron coming in. Like, I don't know if it's per hour. I definitely think that's something that needs to be dead, like... So over here, it tells you 2.1 at that cost, but like, my question is, um, what is the time cycle that this happens on, basically? Uh, that's my, my main question for right now. Uh, I don't want to work mess with my workshop. I do want to make some more spades, but we got to wait till tomorrow morning, so. Hey, there's some of our iron coming on in. Good. It's only Monday, so I'm not really altogether that concerned about having loads of money stocked up. But we'll go ahead and sell off some of this stuff. That's like another four, or that's like another two and a half gold coming on in. It's something. Like, I just need to offset the cost of the iron that I'm importing. If we get up to like 30 or 40 iron, I'll probably cut it off, and then I'll start focusing a little bit on grabbing wood. But for now, I feel pretty happy with where we're at. I mean, honestly, I could probably cut it right now at 23. Yeah, go ahead and stop that, and we'll swap it out now for lumber. Just to get those numbers up. Did the demands change today? The demands did not change. So we're okay. Go ahead and throw those on out there. Shovels are going to keep on coming. How's my character looking right now? We're at 75% crafting quality. I mean, I've got the apprentice training too, which is costing me money a week. Okay, so it's one gold a week. That's not like awful. Apparently I'm focused right now because I have good morale. Nice. Okay, uh, make a few more hammers then, brother. Check the market real quick. It does look like there's a pretty solid price variance, too, in between, like, it's like 68 silver for a 78%, but, like, 80% for something that's crafted a little bit nicer. So we'll close out that deal, make what money we can where we can, and we'll just kind of watch the demand over here. Uh, I can buy a new recipe, and I think maybe... Getting the pickaxe is a good idea now? Yeah, let's go ahead and do the pickaxe. Hello, citizens. Come to my ears that you are a unique blacksmith. Let me introduce myself. I'm Bancroft, the mayor of the province. Mirstone could really use your help. We need this village to grow and prosper. If you would be able to deliver what is necessary, we'll set this village off to a good start. Okay. Reach agriculture too. Gotcha. All right, well, let me pause the game, and we'll check that town menu and see how we're doing. So we really want to supply things that are going to give us a bonus to agriculture then. Uh, it looks like that gives us a bonus. It looks like that gives us an ag bonus. And we have a chance to get a random basic resource. Yeah, let's whip out a couple of those, because I think right now they're... Oh, they're not in demand. Okay, never mind. That might be a waste. Yeah, let's go back over here, and let's cancel these. I'll make one. Just so we have it in stock. 50% chance to sell for a higher value. But is it in demand, though? It's really not. Okay. Um, let's take the horseshoes off for a second. Let's go with rakes. We haven't made, like, any rakes yet. Yeah, let's make some rakes, dude. Nobody likes to have leaves all over the place. And if you do have leaves, you can convert them into a satisfying pile to jump into. Uh, raking leaves is nearly impossible with my dog around because he likes to pick up speed around the edge of the yard and just bulldoze straight headlong into the pile, knocking it everywhere while snorting and being proud of himself. Uh, agriculture, warfare, and commonwealth are categories where your city can be developed. By selling items with specific pins, you contribute to the next town level that opens up new features and recipes. Okay, good to know. 
Uh, let's go to the next day. All right, so I've spent the day pushing up the agricultural level. We are slowly getting there by selling rakes to all the townsfolk. They truly are lucky to have a guy like me around. Uh, when it comes to upgrading our workshop, let's see if there's anything we can do with the workshop, right? So it looks like we can get a table of tools. Let's do that. Yeah, we'll get the table with tools. There you go. We got a table with tools. And look at that. It materialized out of the ether with the thousand, with the fury of a thousand rakesmithing gods. As long as the demand stays up for rakes, I think we'll be okay. Because these seem to be selling for an okay price. A uh, fun fact, if you try to sell something that has no demand, there's a chance of it failing. I've been trying to sell this pickaxe like all day and like nobody's going for it. The rakes though. The rakes are going. That extra quality is helping us get like an extra like point one or like an extra point five point oh five point oh seven on every single sale too. Has the town upgraded? It did! Nice, dude. The agricultural level of two has been increased. Nice. Hello there, my friend. Glad to see us prosper, really. I need to build a fence and plow for my second garden, though I'm struggling with gold. So would you be fine if I just praise you all over the village, please? Bro, did you just ask me to get paid in promotion, my guy? Ooh. You're breaking one of the cardinal rules of the internet, bro. You're going to be up on Twitter. People are going to be real mad at you. Oh, a lightning strike. Oh, my God. Apparently, we can hire heroes at some point, too. I assume they go and grab stuff for us would be my best estimate. Uh, I'm going to tell them to stop stocking this stuff because at the end of the day, I think we've got enough. We've got like 40 of each. And so I'm feeling pretty solid about our sourcing right now. Uh, it is the morning right now. The banana staff overview. It's just me. It's just me. I do kind of want to see if there's any upgrades I can throw on into here. We can get five fame for an armor stand. A forge blower will make us work faster. I'm going to focus on quality for right now. There we go. We've got our cooling barrels. I do like how they actually get added to the workshop. One thing that I would do is make it customizable so you can move this stuff around and kind of put it where you want to put it. In addition, it'd be cool if during the blacksmithing animation, he actually walked around and used some of this stuff. Obviously, this is an early access demo, so maybe that stuff is forthcoming. But just giving my observations about things that I think would be cool with the overall kind of blacksmithing mission that we're on right now. Looks like rakes and spades are mostly it. They want me to build some new stuff. So this is a tier two crafting slot. All right, well, he wanted like a metal fence, right? Okay, so there's the metal fence. A little pricey. Uh, it's gonna cost uh, six of those. All right, well, let's mash them out. Maybe the two tier twos give us better XP. I don't know. Like, the main thing I'm observing right now is that the game is a little bit passive and idle. I do like the sourcing system, and I do like the world map, and I really, really like the way that that looks. I like the idea of hiring heroes to go out and get rare ores and, like, gems and stuff for you, too. And then, like, but I'd like to be able to walk around the village and visit other locations and stuff like that. You know what I mean? All right, so that's done. Let's go ahead and take this. We'll kick it off. And then he wanted a plow. So that's going to take two, and okay, so I just need like two of these. This is getting pricey, my guy. This is getting expensive out here. All right, let's unpause, and we'll get this finished off. Hopefully there's a big influx of cash coming from doing this quest, although I doubt it. It's a favor, so I assume it's going to fill up this meter right here, which makes people like, it makes you more beloved inside the context of the village, I guess. Oh, this craft is quite a bit slower. Not that much XP for it either. I don't know if we're going to get this done by nightfall. We're really not. But a plow is just an absolutely amazing thing. Adventurous. Hire Tarek and explore the map. Wait, I can go to the tavern? Dude, nice. Okay, we can go to the tavern. All right, so inside the tavern, we get a weekly chest, which gives us a random reward. It can be anything, so make sure you check it on out. And then we can recruit heroes from this side, too. You guys still out at 4 a.m., man? All right. All right, you guys party kind of hard out here. So there's Tarek. He's a dungeon finder, but he charges us a lot of gold. Like, a lot, a lot of gold. I might wait on him until I've got better cash stacks, because I'm not trying to get into trouble with the King's Revenue Man. But my name is Splattercat. This is Blacksmith Legends. As of right now, it feels like a little tiny bit passive, but maybe as we get further on in, there's going to be more interactivity between the systems and whatnot. Either way, I've always wanted a blacksmithing RPG. And so, like, it's got my attention. I'm willing to put my hopes in this one. And so that's what I'm doing for right now. Blacksmith Legends. Check it out down below. You can play the demo for yourself and see if you like it. I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in. I'll be back tomorrow with something hot and fresh off the indie skillet. And that's all I got for you. Bye-bye.